but maybe not quite as uh, you know much as as one might have thought. But uh, I I asked uh, Chris about it. You know, if the class is growing, and this is what he had to say. You know, we're in that weird kind of transition. We've got some guys who are hanging on the edges who have been joining us, um, and I think we have the potential to grow. we got a couple of people who are going to join, join us, us after, after the first of the year. year. Uh, Renee Angel, Angel has talked about coming back and joining us after, after the Classic, classic she's, she's been focusing, focusing on that. that. So, so the, the biggest thing, thing I can tell anyone, anyone out there listening is we've got a core group of guys who will be here this year, next year, and as long as they give us a place to race, we'll have a class and we'll take care of you. So uh, that's, that's our, our kind of encouragement. encouragement. Did anyone, anyone want to get, get in? in? We, we, we've, we've got, got you. We'll, we'll take care, care of you. We'll make sure you have fun. fun. You know, and, and fun, key word, that for, for a lot, that's a that's a big deal. Um, in the UAS uh, division, there was uh, only three. Uh, Shane Smith, who won it. Uh, Casey Hankins from East Wenatchee. He's got one of uh, one times uh, Jawas on there a backup deal so uh and he did a nice job it took uh it took shane several laps to uh get by him but uh you know i I asked him if if he learned anything for the bk and then uh and then he's kind of got a special surprise coming too as well here's what uh shane smith had to say yeah no we definitely learned some stuff um it's a it's a very different track this year compared to last year so and it's going to take a different tire um, you know, I'll be glad to, to help, help out, out all the guys, guys coming from, from out of town, town to tell them exactly, exactly what they need. Or, or close. Maybe. Or maybe. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. 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 All right. <laughs> Shane Smith, one time, time was looking forward to seeing you at the Buddha. Obviously, you're not, not going to make the classic. classic. Uh, uh, just, just, just a work, work, work kind of mess, mess up there. there. Uh, no, it's um, actually the best excuse not to make it to a race is my wife's New Year's Eve. So, so, and, and for, for some, some reason, she wouldn't, wouldn't let me go, go out, out of town for that. that. What do you, you think? think? Uh, yeah, for, for some, some reason, I thought that, that was already done. done. That's, That's crazy. crazy. So, so, so you're, you're well, well, hopefully, hopefully it'll, be, it'll be out before, before the boot, right? right? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah no, no, we'll, we'll make sure of that. Yeah, that'd be a big deal. All right. Shane Smith, one time in order for Thanks a lot. You bet. Absolutely. Thank you, Terry. So, you know, everybody learning stuff. Big shout out to Shane. One time, Smith, he's. Getting ready to have a, a a child here very quickly. Well, he's going to be right in there with uh, with uh, Kyle Larson. He, he can be a rookie dad, so that's kind of cool stuff. That wrapped up uh, the uh, the first half of Slideway Saturday, and then uh, you know I got the cool thing is I don't always do this, but I got a chance to do um, the uh, flat track motorcycles and. You know, I mean, it's a uh, it's one of those deals where y- you know you have to appreciate everything that goes on, and this this was actually a pretty good show. They they didn't have as many as normal, um, but still, nonetheless, for the final one before the break, um, in the fifty plus B, uh, the winner was uh, Rick Burchett. He did a nice job. Bobby Engel was second. He was a he, he's kind of a feisty old guy, uh, but he did a nice job uh, in the women's division. Uh, Terry Campbell from Portland won it. Kelly Johnson was second. Vintage 125 went to Troy Plum. And uh, Factory Pat Munyon won the Vintage Nobby. And he is one of the crew members for uh, Jennifer Larson Smark's uh, cart team there. Uh, so he's always with uh, Race and Mason helping them out. Uh, Vintage Plus 30 went to Bjorn Drake from Portland. Uh, Paul Welsh won the Vintage 40 Plus. Uh, 50 plus C went to Kevin Wise from Hubbard. JP Rankin from Eugene won the uh, vintage 50 plus in the 65 DTX. That went to uh, Olin Kistler from Castle Rock. And I'm going to tell you that Olin Kistler, he can, he can flat ride. Uh, Pretty impressive. Talis Sather was second. He too could ride. Um, Two very good uh, up and coming riders. And you definitely want to remember those names because they're going to be going places. They, they were, they were impressive. Um, 250 expert went to Tanner Dean from Tacoma. He too can ride. Uh, David Colstead from Sumner, Washington was second. Uh, both those guys can really ride. Zach Welsh too. He did a great job. Bobby Engel won the 30 plus. 50 cc went to uh, Kale Meitzner from Tualatin. Uh, quad open. Zever Mott. And let me tell you, Mott can flat get it. He's he just horses that thing around, and uh, he was pretty impressive. Uh, Alex Doyle was no slouch either. He did a nice job. He was second. Uh, in the 85 DTX, went to David Kolstad 
Kistler was second. Slather was third. That was a great race. Uh, Nobby Modern went to Cody uh, Partlow. Dakota Woods was second. Mini Quad went to Cameron Barnes. Tanner Dean won the uh, 250 Sport. David Cole said was second. Open Sport went to Skylar Gore. Good ride for him. He's a great rider. Uh, Devin McDonald was second. Jason Duty was uh, third in the 40 plus and went to Jimmy McAllister. Boy, was he exciting! Last lap on the outside, just hung out. Uh, he he put on a nice nice ride, nice show in the uh, 40 plus. He won it. Ingle was second. Uh, Pit bike went to Kale Meixner. Caleb Burchett was second from Longview. 65 cc. The winner was uh, Talis Sather. T.J. Welty from Castle Rock was second. Cora Scott was just out there uh, being steady as she goes, and Cora got uh, third spot. 450 expert. Now, let me just tell you, a lot of you probably already know this guy, but uh, I'm going to tell you, Davis Fisher is, this kid is something else. I'm just saying. He can flat ride. And he won it. He's from Warren, Oregon. I mean, he is very, very impressive. They come from a long time uh, background of, of, of bikes, but... Boy, can that kid ride. I mean, I'm telling you what, he is awesome, and he's a great kid, too. He's going to be going places, no doubt about it. Austin Himmelholtz was second. Um, Paul Welsh won the Vintage 250. The Vintage Open went to Skylar Gore. Uh, Thor Drake was second. How's that for a racing name? Thor Drake. That's tight. He did a good job. He was second. Uh, quad expert. Uh, Xavier Mott won it. Alex Doyle was second. Tanner Dean won the 450 Sport B. 450 Sport C went to uh, Bob Wise. David Kolstad uh, won the 85cc division. And Open Expert, again, went to uh, Davis Fisher. Scott Baker, another kid that's uh, loaded with talent, uh, was second. And Andy Debrino was third from 12th. Boy, I mean, <clears throat> Himholtz and, and Travis Oji as well. All five of those kids are, are I mean, they could be riding factory somewhere. And they will be. Um, they're that good. And so that wrapped up the, uh, uh, that was the Salem Speedway Slideway Saturday, uh, the last event for the break. And then uh, up at Monroe, uh, they had over 50-plus carts. I was talking to the Rocket, uh, Ronnie Cox, and, and uh, he said it was, just, it was just crazy. Yamaha Light went to uh, Spencer Constance, um, and this was like a Joe's Racing Products uh, race because they just kind of swept everything. Uh, the Constance did. Uh, Skylar Jennings won Yamaha Heavy. The Open Class went to Joe Constance. He's the owner of, of Joe's Racing Products. Some of the best uh, stuff you'll ever buy for karting and for uh, late models. Roundy round stuff. Uh, Spencer Constance won the Pro. Uh, the Kid Kart. Two races in a row. Brooklyn Constance wins it. So she's on fire. So congratulations to the Kid Kart winner, Brooklyn Constance. The Schoolboys, Junior 1, 2, Kind of like that. They call it the schoolboys. Uh, went to that went to Haley Constance. She won that on a last lap, last corner pass for the win. I guess it was just exciting as all heck. And then what they had was uh, they had the ugly Christmas sweater um, award there. They gave the you know the ugliest sweater a, a prize, but they also had they drew uh, like a pill draw, and they had uh, a, a race, the ugly sweater race, and Kevin McLeod actually saw the rocket Ronnie Cox up in the stands and said, uh, hey, here, here's an ugly sweater. Here's a helmet. Uh, roll my, my O2 machine. So he did, and uh, he said he was going to give Constance a run for his money, but the uh, belt broke early, so he, he was out. So Spencer Constance uh, went on to that. A big shout-out to Area 51, Mike and uh, Jared Storr. They came all the way from Spokane. Uh, they're just carting uh, lovers, man. They're just passionate about it, and they got a long ways to travel, and they made the trip all the way over. So big shout-out to uh, Area 51 on that. And before we get out of here, there's a couple things I, I, I want to let you know. Uh, you know, racing does a lot of cool stuff. Um, if you can help kids that are sick, got diseases, have cancer, uh, there's a cool thing going uh, called the uh, Children's Dream Racer. And what it is is uh, they've got a... Uh, one of the retired car builders there is building these cars, and it's it's like a uh, a NASCAR car, only the the trunk opens, and you know the there's no doors or whatever, but it's got a cage and the whole bit. They're ninety five hundred bucks, but now before you gasp and go, oh my goodness, they got a TV, an oxygen bottle, uh, they've got uh, 
you know, uh, PlayStation, the whole bit, and it's for kids that, you know, having a rough time. They go and get their treatments. They're not feeling good, um, but their eyes perk up when they when they see one of these uh, NASCAR cars there with the TV and everything in it, and they get to get in it, and it feels like they're uh, racing NASCAR. Cool thing, Children's Dream Racer.com is where you can go 100% nonprofit. It's totally uh, volunteer run. Good thing. If you can help support it, that's a cool thing. Stop by there. Check it out. Um, and lastly, I know there's some of you that, uh, and next week I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this. You know, I, I've got a life coach and just kind of helping me get things together and, and, uh, maybe help get me on the right track, but I'm going to, I'm going to kind of try to translate that into, into race. And so that, uh, I, I, I just think it's an important deal. So I'm going to be working on that for next week and maybe the week after and just kind of keep you guys a little bit in the loop as to what I'm learning and how it applies to racing. I, I think it can't hurt anybody, and it, and it most certainly, um, you know, can only help. So, but, you know, some of you are there, ah, oh, man, I'll never make it. I'm I'm never going to, uh, you know, it, boy, it just doesn't look good. I'll This will probably be my Daytona 500 right here. You know, don't ever have that. Don't ever have that uh, thought because here's why, you know, Northwest Gold Cup, Several years back, a kid by the name of Scott Hargrove was there. Uh, he drove for Italian Motors, and you know he is flat now. He's killing it, and he's living the dream. Uh, he was a 2013 USF uh, 2000 champ, uh, and then just this year, he won the uh, GT3 Porsche Cup. He was the champion. He had six poles, three track records, a three lap record, six wins. And his worst finish was second. He had four seconds, and uh, he won that. And they just put him in the car on a whim. You know, he had won this deal, and his and his uh, uh, his team owner kept putting him in this car just as an experiment. And he went out and rewarded him with a win, won both uh, both races on the weekend. And then, and to top that off, he he was in the Pro Mazda series as well, and he lost that while leading the points and leading the final race until uh, a a gearbox let him down. Otherwise he he probably would have won that, but he was the runner up there. He had three poles. He was rookie of the year, four fastest laps, three wins and 10 podiums. So I'm just telling you, don't ever give up on it. Don't ever give up on it because you just never know. He did the skip barber thing. Yes. I know it takes some money and whatever, but you know what? Don't worry about the stuff. Uh, You just got to go for it. And, and and that's what I wanted to uh, let you know. Good stuff can happen. Hard work is never not rewarded. I think it's just on our time frame. It's not always where we want it. But so in the weeks to come, if, if you've got anything you'd like to hear, uh, you've got any big news, um, give me a shout out. You know, I, I want to say if, if, if anybody wants to um, put an ad on or, or help out, you know, uh, the show, keep it rolling, whatnot, uh, Hit me up on Facebook. Let's let's chit chat. You know, it's, it's not going to be um, ungodly, unreasonable at all. I think it'd be very reasonable. And we got some cool things coming up. Um, got some different plans. We're going to maybe try to do some open house stuff where we go live from some of the different shops around, and so we can get to just some feedback and get people involved. So lots of exciting things uh, coming up on the Northwest Race Report. But most importantly, before we get out of here, it's uh, about eight twenty nine. I just want to thank. Uh, all the racers for uh, helping me. I mean, it, it's I mean it's just humbling uh, all the great stuff that you all have done for me. Whether it's the the greeting or or having me call a race or uh, you know just all the support and encouragement. I, I can't tell you you know how much um, that means to me. And I know at Christmas time. Uh, you know, you go, ah, he's getting a little similar. And I, I'm being honest. Uh, the racing community is some of the best people I have ever uh, been around, and I'm I'm just proud to be part of the whole thing. Um, and I'm learning. This this whole thing is on a whim. Uh, I, I, you know, it, it's only going to get better as I as I learn and and learn the ropes. So, you know, continue to stick with the Northwest Race Report. It's going to be pretty awesome once things get rolling. I love hearing from you guys. I wish everybody the best down at the Classic, uh, the Hitman, the Snowman, Renee Angel, the Mayos, uh, 
Stephen Chase. I mean, there's just a ton of people going down. I probably can't even.